Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my closet, which, you know, isn't perfect. It's kind of a mess at times, but you know, I feel like I've organized it fairly well. I'm working on my capsule wardrobe and I'm also about to pack for a trip that I'm going on this next week. So I thought this would be a great time to take you through my capsule wardrobe process and show you what I've got right now and how I'm still kind of thinning out and things I'm looking for and things like that. So let's just get into it. As always, please like this video if you like it and let me know what you want to see. I love making videos like this that are more about intentional living, ethical, sustainable wardrobe, things like that. The brand that I work for, Crown Free, we are going on a road trip to shoot for their catalog and so I'm really excited to be working with them. A lot of the pieces in my closet are from them that you will see, but besides that, most of my clothes are thrifted or I've had forever, honestly. So let's just get into it. I'll just start over here. These are my shirts and sweaters. Down here I have one skirt, one pair of shorts, and two tank tops. Over here I have my jackets and dresses, and then other like sweaters, jackets, and pants. It's hot in Texas most of the year, so I don't have a lot of winter clothes. I have a few big jackets, but it's mostly light sweaters, and I love sweaters, so it's one of those things where it's kind of hard for me to thin them out, but I know that I need to at some point, so maybe you can help me. If you can tell that I'm not convinced that I need to keep them, just call me out on it, okay? <laughs> I have this shirt that I thrifted. It's from Madewell. It's just a nice basic white, and I like it because it's a thick material, and it's really pretty, so can't go wrong with a basic white shirt and a capsule wardrobe, am I right? It's just a little striped top. I don't know if you can tell, but it's so comfy. I've had this for years. I thrifted it. I just like a neutral, very slouchy, comfy tee. Next is this little love your neighbor shirt. This is from Crown Free. It's so soft. Crown Free shirts are so comfortable. They are pretty long. I always tuck my shirts in, so as you can tell, like, you tuck it quite a bit or you could tie it up, but I just love all of Crown Free shirts, so this one is really fun. I have this one, Girls Are Not For Sale. If you've been around me for like 0.5 seconds, you probably know that I'm pretty passionate about the human trafficking fight. And so this is from a local organization called The Net Fort Worth, and they do a lot of work in the sex trafficking industry like here in our town. So I had to get this at one of their events just to support them and also to like spread awareness, you know what I mean? Next is this shirt. It is so random. <laughs> it says Doki Doki Morning and it's like Japanese, I think is what Christopher said. Um, Christopher speaks Mandarin, if you didn't know, my husband. He grew up in Asia, so at any time there's something like this, I'm like, can you translate it? <laughs> and he couldn't, but we did find out that it's like the onomatopoeia for heartbeat. So I don't know, it's like cutesy. I wanted to make sure it wasn't something weird before I bought it, you know, but I actually really like the shirt because it's a little bit more of a cream than a white because here's my thing I have a lot of neutral tees like this that are this family of color but I just love them I love them so maybe I need to thin it out more but I just love them all so speaking of this color here's another one actually let me get both of I get compliments every time I wear these shirts. They're like cropped shirts, these cropped tees from The Kind Project. Actually, I think it's called Marine Hill Studio now, but they are based in LA. I believe it's all organic cotton and hand dyed and they're so pretty and they're so like so comfy. I just love them. They're really high quality. And every time you buy one of their shirts, they feed a child in need. I'm pretty sure is what their mission is. It's some sort of mission cause based business and it's beautiful and they actually just launched with Marine Hill Studio, like a lounge wear line too, which I don't have any of yet, but I have loved these for the years that I've had them, so I cannot wait to get more of their basics. Next up, I have this little brown Madewell t-shirt. I thrifted it, but it's just like a good neutral, you know what I mean? Like it's very soft. Okay, this is also a random thing, but I am very particular about my necklines. I always have to have a high neck or like, I don't know, I just don't like scoop necks. I don't like V-necks. I don't know, I'm just really picky about that. So most of my shirts are this cut, but I just really like this color. I think it's a pretty neutral. I usually wear it with a gold chain and it's really nice. Next is two more crowned free shirts. I love both of these. This one is just a fun blue. Like I love this blue and this orange color. That was all of my tees. Now we're getting into the long sleeves. I have one flannel, which actually is Christopher's flannel. We thrifted this one, but I really like this color blue. And I basically just stole it from him because I'm the only one that wears it now. But I always like tie around my waist or when it gets cool here I'll probably layer it with some of my tees. Next is this silky 
button down. It's from H&M, but I thrifted it. I haven't worn it a ton yet just because it's been so stinking hot here. But when it cools down, I feel like this is going to be so pretty tucked into jeans or like worn over a tank top or something. I love it. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Next, I have this little cutie, little button down with kind of like wider sleeves. I love this color. If you can't tell, this is like another one of my favorite colors. And you'll probably notice the theme. I'm not a big colors person, but I do have a few like my blues and this color that I absolutely love. So this is just like a really pretty textured print textured what is this design fabric <laughs> tell i'm not good at this i've never done a video like this before but you know what here's to trying new things you know what i'm talking about this is originally from old navy but like i said i thrifted it i think i said that i thrifted it recently and i haven't gotten to wear it yet really because again it's been hot but i cannot wait to wear this in the fall i feel like it's a perfect lightweight long sleeve for texas so this is gonna get a lot of wear i'll just go over these two quickly because they're two very long <laughs> like tunic type tops, I guess you would say. Like this is actually, I think a dress, but when I sing at church, we have to wear long stuff because the platform is raised. And so, you know, like modesty, not much else to say here. Let's get into the sweaters. This is like where it's hard for me to whittle it down because like this one, it's just a church sweatshirt, but it's so comfy cozy. And I like wearing it around the house. I wouldn't really wear it out in public, I guess as much but it's just so comfy so i have a hard time parting with it and i have this one which i thrifted this summer it's kind of like a crop with a mock neck and i just love this color so much again with the neutral colors um i haven't had a chance to wear it yet again because i got it in the summer but i can't wait to and i think it's probably going to become one of my absolute favorite sweaters here's the dilemma because i have two very similar sweatshirts this one says pray this one says faithing forward this is a church one and i thrifted this one i love the colors on this one again these are like my favorite colors that i wear all the time and then this one i just I love it it's so cute like repping my church and then also the color and the design it's cute so I'm keeping both of these for now. I know eventually to do the true capsule, I will have to part with one of them probably because you don't need two of the same or similar item. But for now, this is where I'm at, okay? Next up is this little vintage number. It's Red River sweatshirt. This is actually my dad's. I think that my parents got this whenever they were on their honeymoon. So like almost 30 years ago. I stole this from his closet a couple years ago and uh, he's never getting it back. Excuse me, I will never get rid of this. Christopher got this for me last year after we finished watching Schitt's Creek and it is honestly our favorite show. So this was just like a sweet thing. I had to have it and Christopher totally came through. It's so soft and comfy. I think he got it on Etsy, but it is truly one of my favorites when the cold weather comes around. I'm wearing this one like three times a week. I was gonna say sweatshirt, sweater. I thrifted this sweater a couple of years ago. It had like this, had like the bottom of a button up kind of stitch in it. So I just cut it out and I like it way better. I almost parted with this a couple months ago, but I was like, you know what? I wear this one so much that I'm gonna give it another winter to see how much I actually wear it. And if I still love it as much by the end of this year, I'm probably gonna keep it. Next up, I have this one. Well, you can't really tell. It's got a high neck. It's kind of like a straight across neck sweater um, with wide arms. Again, like love this color and it's so fluffy soft it's from lulu's super cute and i love wearing it like tucked into jeans or with a skirt it's just one of those neutrals you know what i mean i love sweaters please does someone else understand this obsession with sweaters again fluffy baggy sleeves it's so cute i love the colors i got this two years ago for my birthday my sister-in-law and brother got me a gift card and this is what i got and it was like such a fun moment for me because I've actually never paid retail price for anything from Madewell. I'm on their email list, so I get a $25 credit for my birthday. Did you know about this? Because every year for your birthday month, they send you $25 that you can use on anything, even sales stuff. So every year I like go and stock up on stuff that I've been eyeing. Besides that, I've only thrifted stuff from Madewell, so this was a really special purchase. This one is kind of silly, but I thrifted it a couple years ago and I just can't bring myself to part with it yet. It is this like, denim cropped sweater but it has these santas on it and i just when it's christmas time i wear this all the time because it's funny but it's also really comfortable like it's soft and fluffy on the inside and i just love that it's denim in a zip up right here i can't let it go maybe one day but not this year i'll just quickly show you these this is a skirt that i thrifted it's free people and then these are some vintage shorts that i also thrifted and then i have these two little tank tops that i also thrifted i don't wear tank tops a lot i don't know why it's just a thing but um these are the two that i really like i don't wear this one as much so i might eventually part with it 
but actually I haven't worn it at all this summer. I like it. I like the idea of it maybe. Oh my gosh, talk me off the ledge here. That's everything on that side of the closet. I won't get into like my pajamas and active wear, lounge wear, like that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna show you what's in my closet for this video. Um, but next up is this side. Let me just have a disclaimer, okay? I know that capsule wardrobe is usually a lot less pieces than this, and this is just a progress update. You know, maybe one day soon I'll look back and be like, Hannah, I can't believe you owned all this stuff, girl. You gotta let it go. But I'm not there yet. And I have some stuff in my closet that I am like have listed on my Poshmark to sell. So like there's some old bridesmaids dresses in here and stuff that I don't wear, but it's just stored in here. So I'm gonna skip over that. First, let me show you this jacket because this, this denim jacket is incredible. It's vintage Ralph Lauren. I thrifted it for like $10. I love this jacket, but I have this issue that maybe you can help me with. I also have this vintage express denim, but it's like a, long denim jacket and it's like baggy and I love them both so much like how am I supposed to choose between them right now I'm keeping them both because they're also really cool like vintage express like, that's so cool maybe after this winter I'll see which one I wear more I'm super excited about this one my sister-in-law who is like my BFF had this jacket and I tried it on I was like I just have to have it but it's free people and the thing is I have never and probably will never buy anything retail from free people and it is the dolman jacket that everyone talks about okay i just have to tell you it's worth the hype it is so comfy well let me just say i found it on poshmark so it's second hand i did not pay full price which i'm so glad for but i searched and searched and i waited for this jacket and i'm so glad i did because i love the color i love the fit of it it's a small but it fits really baggy and oversized like that heavy but still not too bulky, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because it's so soft too. We'll probably never part with it. It's like 10 out of 10 in my book. If I have a few dresses, this is actually an area in my capsule that I'm working on finding. So if you have suggestions for places to get either like cute ethical dresses or places like brands that I could look for while I'm thrifting that are good for dresses, please let me know because it's so hard. I don't know why it's so hard. Also, I guess I'm really picky. Like I like neutrals. I like earth tones. I don't want something that's too frilly and girly. I want something that's like a casual I could wear regularly, um, especially like in the summer in Texas. I don't want to be wearing denim shorts or pants all the time. Like I live in my bike shorts, but sometimes it's cute to just wear a dress. So I recently thrifted this one. It's really lightweight. It's almost like a linen-y material, but this is the situation I'm not sure about. Like, is this still a thing? I can't be sure. I styled it with my Gigi Pip hat once and I really liked it, but I haven't worn it out yet. So I don't know about it. I'm going to give myself a goal to wear that, wear this like soon. Maybe I'll take it on my trip with me. That'd be a good idea. Next is this little cutie dress. It is a new day from Target. It's a full length, very flowy. I haven't gotten a lot of wear out of it yet just because again, it's been so stinking hot and I don't want to wear long sleeves in the summer here, but it is such a pretty color. I love the print. Side note, Christopher hates leopard print, but I think it's adorable. So settle that argument in the comments for me, will you? I have these two cuties that I thrifted. This is just like a little random. Just love the color, okay? <laughs> and this is a Madewell blazer, which I love the pattern and I love the color. It's that orangey color that I'm obsessed with. Got some cute little sweaters. Again, this color, obsessed. It's Madewell. I thrifted it. And this one, Universal Thread, I also thrifted it. But okay, here's the thing. This is a pet peeve of mine. I do not like this thing on the edge of sleeves. Like it's not as bad on sleeves, but when it's at the bottom, no, don't do it. Don't do it to me. I don't like that. I don't like it to be cinched at all. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. I really wanted a cream kind of waffly knit sweater, which is why I got it. Um, it was only a couple dollars anyway, but I just don't know if I love it enough to keep it. So I'm kind of on the hunt for something to replace it. If you have suggestions, please let me know. Okay, this next one might be one of my favorite things I have ever thrifted. It's this cute green little sweater. It is so cute, like it's so cute. And it's this really interesting material. It's more, it kind of like feels like a blanket material. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know those blankets that you had growing up? Maybe it's just me, but it's like, it's like a lightweight blanket, but it keeps you warm. I don't know, it's kind of like that because it's thin, but it's cozy. I'm obsessed with this color right now. This is the only thing I have of this color, but 
I just, I just needed it in my life and I'm so glad I got it because I wear it actually quite a bit even though it's been hot. I like wear it to work when it's cold in the office and any excuse I get to wear it, I'm going to wear it. Next is pants. I have this pair of sweats from Victoria's Secret that I've had for like ever, like at least five years. I have this thrifted pair of Levi's. One of my greatest finds. It's definitely a mom jean fit. I only wear high-waisted. These are a pair of Madewell that I thrifted and these are like my favorite jeans, these two. Well, I take that back. I think these might be my favorite actually. These are from H&M, the Conscious line. They are the wide leg light wash. Like they're so, they're so cute and they're so comfy. I get compliments every single time I wear these and truly I cannot recommend them enough. They were only like $30 um, and they're amazing. I wear them at least once a week and I'm gonna be keeping these probably forever. I have these leopard pants. They're like a cropped wide-ish leg. It's not super wide, but um, they're from Target. I know that Christopher was like, you're kidding me, but I love them and I actually wear them quite a bit. I thrifted these recently and they fit like a glove. They're so perfect. I love the wash. They're very like good quality, you can tell. They're vintage Gap and they are, Mm. They're the only pair of black jeans I have right now and I'm okay with that because they're really stinking cute and I'm so glad I found them. I think they were like three dollars. Then I have this pair of skinny jeans like just a plain blue wash. I don't love them. I would get rid of them. Here's the thing. When I sing at church, I have to have jeans that aren't too tight and also don't have rips in them just to like look you know like clean cut across the board and so that's why i keep these you know i should probably just get a pair that i actually like and would wear besides on sundays if i can find one thrifting that'd be ideal actually okay here's my thing also i hate trying on pants and i rarely go to stores to buy jeans but i've heard such good things about everlane that i really want to try theirs but if you have jean recommendations please let me know because i just need like a good nice clean straight leg jean no rips are distressing professional clean you know like the standard jean so send me your suggestions please i'm begging you you're gonna laugh at me for this but <laughs> go with me okay it's this cream cropped wide leg i actually cut the hem off it used to have like a you know like a regular what is it called like a double whatever hem anyway i didn't like it so i cut it off and i like it much better like this but i actually got these at kroger <laughs> they were on sale for like seven dollars and i was like those are pretty cute. It was before the days where I cared so much about ethical fashion and I was like, grocery store pants? Why the heck not? So I did it and they're actually pretty cute. I don't wear them as much because number one, I'm a mom of a toddler and anytime I wear white, especially pants, I feel like I'm just asking the universe to get me dirty. Um, but also I just forget about them and also because I wear my cream tops a lot, like I don't do cream and cream. Maybe I should, is that a vibe? Maybe I should do like a monotone moment. I forget about these a lot, so I don't know if I should keep them, but I do really love them. I think these are one that I wanna challenge myself to incorporate more because I really do like them. So maybe it'd be cute like with sweaters as it cools off. I feel like I could use these more. Lastly, I have one little skirt, leopard print again. <laughs> Skirts and dresses are the area that I struggle with the most because I feel like I'm so picky about patterns and fit and style, like all of that, that it's just been tricky for me to find ones that I love. But I got this last year at Old Navy. I just like the, the cut of it. It's like mid calf, I guess, but I also pull it up high waisted and I tuck or tie my shirts. So it's cute. I really like this one, but I do think I want to get like a more neutral skirt. So again, if you have suggestions, please let your girl know, help me out because obviously I'm not a pro at this capsule wardrobe stuff. Okay. But I'm learning and I want your advice. I do have a couple other jackets, like a puffer jacket, a raincoat and a pea coat, but I don't love them. And I just have them because in the off chance in Texas that it snows like once in a blue moon, it's nice to have. So that's pretty much that. I'll quickly run through my shoes, but I don't want this video to be too long. So basically I have this pair of sandals that I thrifted, just a plain black, which I was looking for forever. I actually, okay, on my wish list is the Aloha's Marshmallow Sandal. If you have not seen this shoe, please look it up or maybe I'll just put a picture right here because wow, dream but it's very expensive. However, they do have a pair at Madewell online and I might use my birthday reward to get it this year. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, but I found these thrifting not too long ago for like $2. So I was like, this is a good stand-in while I save for the pair that I truly want. You know what I mean? I have this pair of sneakers. I thrifted them, but they're Skechers. They're just a everyday, like 
doesn't matter if I get them dirty, like we're just running around outside kind of shoe. These from Everlane, I am obsessed with these. They're so pretty and they're really sturdy and durable. So these are more of like a, I'm looking cute today kind of sneaker. You know what I mean? Wouldn't run in these. <laughs> these little loafers, I thrifted these as well. Actually pretty comfy and I like the color and kind of like the snakeskin kind of texture. Okay, these are where it's at. These are free people. I thrifted them and Okay, I love them. Here's the thing, I love them. I just don't wear them a lot. Like I wear, rarely wear heels now. Maybe in the fall I'll wear these, but for now they're listed on my Poshmark. So I'm kind of like, you know what? I will wear them until somebody else wants to love them because I do love them, but I just feel bad for not wearing them as much as they deserve. Does that make sense? I also have this pair of heels that's like a cute kind of like sock heel and I like it a lot. Like this is me in a shoe, okay? This is so cute. The wood color, the neutral, the beige, all the things, comfy. But I, again, I just haven't worn them. I haven't really had a chance to. So this is something that I need to kind of like see in the fall if I'll really get use out of them. I think that's pretty much everything. <laughs> we went through my entire closet. For my trip, I'm gonna be taking most of the jeans, most of the tees, and then a couple pairs of my shoes. Pretty much all my shoes. I have like one of each style of shoe. Um, but that's where I'm at currently with my capsule wardrobe. I know it's not perfect. I have a long ways to go. But the things I'm looking for are dresses and skirts. Besides that, I think I'm just going for more basics. Like I would love to have some other colors of that Madewell tee or like some tees that don't have any graphics like I love these but sometimes it's nice to just have a plain top that's either black or white something like that that's just more basics that I can mix and match but again if you have suggestions please leave them below I would love to hear from you I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's normally not what I would do but I'm excited to get more into this because minimalism has been so intriguing to me this year that I'm really tapping into it more and I want to build a capsule wardrobe not only to live a more minimalistic lifestyle but also because I care a lot about ethical and sustainable fashion, human trafficking as well. A lot of our cheap clothes are made by forced labor victims and I'm just not about that. So that is why I am making capsule wardrobe and if you wanna know more about it, keep following along and I'll do some more updates. Until then, be sure to follow me on social media, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you wanna see next and I'll see you next time, bye.